What is up, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube? It is Stressman here, and today I'm going to do something a little different from what I have been doing um, here recently. I, I did a review for Batman, and uh, I did a review for um, a Quentin Tarantino movie. Um, you can go check those out. But um, And I'm going to continue the Quentin Tarantino series, but I just haven't had time. I'm going to try to do that one tomorrow. Um, to pick up back um, on the other ones. But I, I wanted to sit here and talk about a movie that is dear to me now um, and got me through a really tough time. And that movie being Forgetting Sarah Marshall. Um, I have a lot of co comfort movies uh, that I watch um, uh, when stuff's on my mind. And I have, like, movies that I will watch just when I'm bored. And, um, uh, one of those being, uh, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Um, I will watch, I watch that movie multiple times, um, in a month. Uh, and I can turn it on, uh, do laundry, uh, clean the room, uh, enjoy it just at night out, like, well, I say not out, but like a night just to myself, I'll watch it. It's just a comfort movie for me, and I love that. And that's there's so many reasons why it's my favorite movie, but it it just it is. And I know that I'm going on a tangent about Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, but and I just said I was talking about Forgetting Sarah Marshall, but I'm about to get to that. Um, Forgetting Sarah Marshall um, wasn't really big to me until. Uh, this past year, um, I had watched this movie before, um, and a couple months ago I decided to watch it with uh, Israel. Um, we had a long streak of just watching, um, we started out watching really bad movies, um, which I talked about, and um, then we decided, let's watch some movies that... Um, we didn't get to watch growing up because either they were too raunchy and our parents wouldn't let us watch it, or um, stuff we had seen, but again, it was early like 2000s, like raunchy humor. And so uh, we went on this quest, we watched Project X, which we, uh, I had watched, but he hadn't. Um, uh, we watched Forgetting Sarah Marshall, another movie that I had watched but it would it had been since it came out and he hadn't watched it before and um uh we watched the hangover movies he had not watched uh, two or three um which we still need to finish three and i'm trying to think of some other ones and then we watched the disaster movies but or the epic movies stuff like that but that falls under the category of like being um just a bad movie in general but Moving back on to forgetting Sarah Marshall, um, I won't go get into the details of this, but this past year um, has been a really tough year. Well, 2021 was a pretty tough year for me, um, and I, again, like I said, I won't get into the details, but um, I had a big piece of my life. Uh, leave me um and i say leave me but um it was just a parting of ways of like a big chunk of my life and um for a while there i was really really down in the dumps and um i hadn't been that way um well i should say i shouldn't say hadn't i i had been in the, the down in the dumps for about four years but um it really just was the finality um, that had uh, really messed me up. But um, moving on from that, I this was during the time that um, this was all going on, and we were watching those bad movies, and we finally got to forgetting Sarah Marshall, and um, it really brought me um, happiness during that time. Because I could just I could relate to um, Jason Siegel's character uh, Peter Bretter in the movie, and um, 
I it just it um it just brought me joy. Um, this movie is funny. This movie is relatable. Um, and it's uh, and if you're ever going through like a tough time, um, or in the movie it's a it's a breakup. Um, but if you're going through anything like that, um, I really highly recommend watching this movie. Um, it um, is like not even if you're going through that. It it it's a funny movie in itself. But I genuinely uh, encourage anyone that is having a tough time to watch this movie because he like you you don't feel alone. Like you feel like you know watching it even though it's this fic fictional characters like you can relate to this person because like there's so many times in life that you're you just feel alone and no one else is like felt this situation you're going through and um you just go into a really dark place and don't talk to anyone because you don't want to put um that stuff onto other people um it's, and, and also you just feel like you're the only person in the world that's ever is going through this, the, the stuff you're going through. Now everyone's situation is unique, but almost like 80, 90% of the time, everyone's went, I mean, some person has went through the same situation you have. And um, it's it's good knowing that. And it's, it's good to sometimes just, you know, make fun of yourself and... Um, you know, laugh when you're just going through a really tough time, but, um, I can honestly just gush about this movie, um, for hours on end, but I'll just get into, like, the, the main parts that really, um, like, help me while watching it, and, um, like, I really like how Jason Siegel's character, like, um, reacts going to this movie like just you see the different stages of like grief you like have the ultimate sadness and then like just trying to find something being numb to everyone and then eventually just like saying I need to reinvent myself I need to do something that I didn't do before and and uh, just it keeps snowballing and I don't want to give up a lot of the plot for this movie because I know it's an old movie I believe it came out in 2008 but Again, I just, if anyone hasn't watched this movie, please go watch it. And I recommend watching the unrated version. Um, it's rated R, so why not just go ahead and watch the unrated version? Um, but, yeah, I just, I really, uh, this really isn't really a review of Treating Sarah Marshall. This is more of like a, how this movie what this movie is to me and um it's it's it's, it's been like a um a, I, I really don't know anything that makes that would sound good it's it's all cheesy but this is like basically like a friend um that has been in your situation and is there to poke fun of you and you're there to poke fun of it him or her and um just get through it together and uh i'm really glad that i rediscovered this movie because um there's been times during like just the healing process that i had bad nights and i put this on and it it takes me out of it just for a little while and that's all i need and um yeah i just it, it's just it's it's uh it's good it's good for you to have this so um but yeah i i really don't know much what else, much what much oh my god i don't know what else much to say about this movie but like it's 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 good for me and i know it's not for everyone but um definitely watch it. Mila Kunis is funny in this movie. Um, uh, Jason Segel, like I said before, is, is hilarious in this movie. Uh, Kristen Bell 
um, even though you're really not <laughs> rooting for her in this movie. Um, she's funny at times, and Russell Brand um, is supposed to be a really unlikable character in this movie, but he does have his funny moments. Um, Bill Hader, for what he is in this movie, um, is hilarious. Uh, I believe Joan Hill's also in it, and he's a good supporting character. Um, yeah, th this movie is just filled with, with good um, actors and actresses. Um, and they bring their A game like to the roles that they're supposed to be in. So, um, I don't like I said, this really isn't much of a review, but more of like just a me pouring out like what this movie is to me. I've said it multiple times, like, over and over again, but it just it's really it's really uh, it's got a place in my heart. So. Um, yeah, like like I said, if you're going through a tough time, um, rent this movie, buy it. I recommend just buying the Blu-ray or the DVD and just turning it on if you're having you know a tough day. Um, and uh, the jokes will stick with you. And when you're having like a tough time, you're away from your TV or anything like that to watch it. Um, just thinking about like the jokes will you know bring you that solace so um yeah um and that and that's pretty much it for this movie like you know um yeah i i, I don't i could go into like how uh um each character is um you know good in their roles and stuff like that and i pretty much covered everything so yeah um I uh, don't have much else to say, but um, like I said before, watch this movie. It's a great movie, um, and yeah, I just really relate to this movie, so go give it a watch. Um, so yeah, I, my next video, I'm going to try to do the second Quentin Tarantino film, and then I'll try to review another um, movie as well. If I, I still need to get that Shrek movie. Uh, second Shrek playthrough game through <laughs> dear lord it's it's early in the morning that's why I keep repeating myself but um yeah I'm gonna get that Shrek gameplay um soon so yeah um again thank you guys for watching this video this has been Stressman well I guess no one so yeah um I'll see you guys in the next one see ya